Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Knight Rider played that in the arcade. Pole Position played that in the arcade. Off-Road, I think that was its name, had three steering wheels. You could play against friends with a computer, potentially. Uh, played that in the arcade. Um, Outrun, didn't really get into it in the arcade, and certainly not on consoles. But I did like RC Pro-Am on the NES, the original NES. I don't know if they've ever... Uh, released a sequel. I think actually there. I think there was a sequel, but I didn't get it. Maybe it, I, I, it's been so long. But I still do enjoy racing types of games. Uh, I know that I got my dad into them. Uh, I, I gave him a PSP as a gift. I think for his birthday a couple years ago, and uh, he was really getting into it. Like you know, he was like Need for Speed. He was showing me the things that he could do and. Uh, you know, we were challenging each other, uh, like head-to-head, -head, you know, playing PSP to PSP. Um, it, it, racing games, uh, I do enjoy. In fact, the first racing game I had on my PC was, I think, it wasn't my PC, it was the family PC. Uh, it was something called Stunts. And you could build your own track, or you could race your own track, and this computer didn't even have a video card, and it ran at like two frames a second. Um, and, uh... Oh God, that was on a 386 SX computer. Uh, but then of course, I, I still enjoy uh, racing games today. Uh, I enjoy more of the arcade style racing games. I really love the Burnout series. Uh, Burnout Revenge, uh, I played through. And then I just picked up Burnout Paradise for the Xbox 360 just the other day. Haven't had a chance to play it yet. I know, I know, I've just kind of been busy. So I'm going to play this video here uh, that was just created by XX Owns XY because she wants to demonstrate Track Mania. Now apparently this is a free download, if you didn't know. Um, she sent me, uh, you know, this particular video along with a top five tips list for Track Mania. Apparently it's new, it's hot. She said there are several versions of the game, but the newest one, Trackmania Nations Forever, is a free download and gameplay from Steam. She says it's one of the best free games she has ever seen. The game is an F1 racing game, which allows a user to play either in solo mode uh, to earn coppers, I guess is what they're called, or in multiplayer against players from all over the world. There's a version you can pay for called Trackmania United, which gives you access to customizable skins and other perks. She uh, wants to reference this video, so we'll try to embed it when we do uh, the video upload uh, for this particular video on my blog at chris.perillo.com so you can see it in its full glory. She did an amazing job. I, I don't know if I could do, even after reading her tips, I don't think I could do half as well as she's doing here. Either that or she's spending a lot of time on it. Uh, she says, first, not a top five, but a tip. Try solo mode before going into a server. That'll teach you the basics. Get those tracks down. You'll be more than ready for the maps you'll find on a multiplayer server. Most of the maps in solo mode are more difficult than the ones you would find on the servers. Number five, take wall rides low. When coming into a wall ride, take it at its corner and stay low. And come out of the wall ride at its corner. This will maintain or increase your speed. An example can be seen at 4 minutes and 49 seconds in her video. Number four, when going into loops, move as little as possible and stay as straight as possible. There can be some issues in track mania when taking loops, mostly with old maps, that'll slow you down or turn your car. Sometimes taking the loop at an angle to the left and then right will stop this from happening. Number three, brake is your friend. When coming to a sharp corner at a high speed, turn your car in the opposite direction just before coming into it and turn again into the direction you want to go and this will give you a good slide and let you take the corner faster. You can also use, uh, use the slide of the road, and it says Ramstein as it's called, to put you into a slide and slow you down just enough. You can find an example of this at 2 minutes and 6 seconds in her video. Number two, skid as little as possible. While skidding is good for sharp corners, where, uh, where you can only take it fast by skidding, not all corners require a skid. Sometimes taking a turn or corner as close as possible is not always the best option. Skidding does slow you down, so let your car travel the line along enough as, so as not to skid when it is not required. An example, at 5 minutes and 11 seconds in her video. Notice how she didn't take the turn as close as she could, and she continues to write, and I'm careful not to hit the Ramstein, or Ramstein, 
<laughs> to avoid a skid and maintain my speed. It is completely impossible to avoid skids all the time. Four wheel skids are what you want to avoid the most. Skidding with just two wheels or one will slow you down the least. Refer to 3 minutes and 38 seconds for a two wheel skid. Refer to 345 for a one wheel skid and refer to 352 for a four wheel skid. I, it, it looks awesome. I mean, I know you're watching it here in the background. I wouldn't be surprised if half of you are downloading it if you haven't already. Number one, learn tips and tricks about the tracks you're playing. Since tracks on most servers are created by the players themselves, there are often little tricks that can improve your speed. If you don't know about them, it can make it impossible to run a record time. For instance, cuts and speed boosts that can go unused. Refer to 5 minutes and 24 seconds in the video. I intentionally let off the gas for just a second in the air so that I can hit the speed boost at 525. There are many more tips and tricks I can give, but for the sake of your time, I'll invite anybody who would like to help me add to Steam or MSN. You know the name. It's always the same. Anywho, thanks again, Chris. XX owns XY, uh, probably one of the more talented uh, gamers out there. Even you know, it doesn't matter that uh, she's an XX; uh, she will still own you, even if you happen to be an XX. But uh, as her handle implies, she will own XY. That would be the male uh, crowd here. Certainly, she has owned me in the past when we've played head-to-head -head, uh, Tetris. Netris, uh, I've owned her. It was a rare uh, occasion that that happened, but uh, I honestly, after watching her play this, there's no way I would want to just... It looks like fun, but I couldn't go head-to-head. -head. That's just it's too much. Exciting, but too much. So thanks again for passing this along. I uh, really do appreciate it. I mean, I don't know if anybody out there knew about this game, but if they didn't, well, they're looking at it right now behind me. Uh, my email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of another unsung hero out there in game land, free, uh, potentially. Um, you know, I had never heard about this until uh, she emailed me today, and so I thought it'd be great to pass it along sooner rather than later. Uh, you're welcome to stop by uh, geeks.perillo.com if you care to share your wisdom with the rest of us. Uh, we have both XX and XY there. And uh, we, uh, you know, we've got blogs and forums, and you can ask questions, you can get answers, kind of like what you can do here in the uh, chat room, this live uh, video here that I'm broadcasting, and I'm recording uh, live. Of course, when you're watching this, it's no longer live, other than for the people who are currently in the chat room. But I've shown the chat room directly inside my live video experience, and we're streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week, typically talking tech, and yes... A lot of people like talking about gaming. Believe me, if you stop by the chat room, someone's going to ask a question or be talking about something related to gaming. It's a guarantee. Anyway, <clears throat> you're more than welcome to join us. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll eat you later.